everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Obviously this year was a little bit different, but hopefully everybody was able to uh, at least celebrate via Zoom or you know any way possible to, to celebrate with your families. Um, and uh, hopefully everybody can get a workout in to burn off the uh, calories that we consume. Uh, I know that's what I had to do today. And uh, my body wasn't exactly uh, thrilled, but that's okay. So anyway, today's, today's rotation is gonna be uh, each little grouping, you're gonna go through it twice each. So you're gonna go through this one and this one, and then this one and this one. So you're gonna go through it twice, 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 and twice. And then we've got a little finisher, minute 15 at the end for each item. And then this last one, I put a little star there. I just want you to go as long as you can. So hopefully it's longer than a minute 15. So it's pretty much how it's gonna work. Get through twice, 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 then do the finisher and then you're done. So it should be maybe 45 minutes around there, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, so depending, just do the best you can. And uh, we'll fly through a lot of this stuff. You don't really need uh, too much equipment. So the first one, elbow drop, tricep push up. So if you have sliders, I'd say put them on your toes, makes it a little bit more difficult. So you're gonna go down to the elbows, up to the hands, and then the elbows stay in, down and up. Hit those triceps. If you need to drop down to the knees for the push up, that's fine. Just make sure on the elbow drops, you stay off the knees. If you wanna get a little bit more explosive, you go down, explode it up elbows in and push. So you can do 20 of those. And then narrow wides. We've done these before on the channel. Narrow, elbows in. Wide, shift them out. Make sure the chest gets to the floor. So 20 of each. Then the second one is gonna get the heart rate up a little bit more, some burpees. So the first one is a burpee tuck. Down, up. Tuck the knees. If that's too high impact, you can just pop up. Make sure you get a nice deep squat and do a squat jump instead of a, instead of a tuck. So 10 of those. Burpee double star jack, down, up. Then you're gonna go here, up, and up for two. So you do 10 of those. So again, rotate through it twice. Then we're gonna shift it over. So 40 dumbbell speed squats. If you don't have dumbbells, just do them without. But really challenge yourself. Put the dumbbells up on the shoulders. Feet shoulder width. Chest up, eyes up. Make sure you stick the butt out. So when you go down and do a squat, I wanna see the toes up. I don't wanna see the toes pushing into the ground. The knees should be back behind the toes. Butt out, all the way down to 90 and up. Down and up. So you do 40 speed squats. So as fast as you can, get to 40. Just make sure the form is good. Squat jump into a lunge jump. So you're gonna go squat jump, up, drop it down into a lunge position, lunge jump back to squat, other side, and that's one. So squat jump into a lunge jump on the right side, lunge jump into a squat jump, then Squat jump into a lunge jump on the other side and back. And you're gonna do that 20 times. So if you wanna use dumbbells, you can. Obviously it'll add a degree of difficulty. So do the best you can there, twice through. This last group of four is all abs. So uh, I'm gonna quick grab a set of sliders. So the first one is 50 upright bicycles. So obviously these can be modified, but you're gonna be doing them seated in an upright position. One leg extends, the other one is bent. Drive the elbow across and then switch. So you do 50 total. If you need to modify, you can always do the same thing laying down. Just make sure the legs are nice and low. Drive it across and modify those. So, these sliders, they're really good to have for at-home workouts. They're super cheap. You can get them at any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, for like three bucks. 
So make sure you get these. Um, if you do your workouts on like a wood floor or a floor that's slippery, you can just use a towel or your socks and they should slide pretty good. So you're gonna go down to the elbows, you're gonna tuck, bend the knees all the way up, extend it out, and then straight legs, butt in the air, down nice and slow to parallel. So that counts as one. Tuck and pike. And you're gonna go through 20 of those. This next one is quite challenging when done correctly. So legs will be straight. The bottom of your circle should be right above the ground. So about right there. If you need to modify, you can use your fingertips on the ground. So the goal is to make as big of a circle with the legs as you can. So all the way out, up and around, up and around. So you're gonna do 20 of these both ways. So you do 20 clockwise, 20 counterclockwise. So it's gonna be 40 total. The last one, this one is gonna be 20 total. So I would suggest just doing like two in a row clockwise, then two in a row counterclockwise, or you can just do 10 in a row clockwise, 10 in a row counter, it's up to you. So on the elbows, you're gonna tuck both knees all the way out and around, touch, across, and extend it back. Tuck, and make a big, as big of a circle as you can with your feet. Nice big tuck circles, 10 one way, 10 the other. And that'll be twice through that ab rotation. So once you get through all four of those clumps, then you're gonna do the finisher. So this one, I always recommend a dumbbell. So on the right elbow, dumbbell just goes on the hip. You're gonna tap, you're gonna lift as high as you can, hold it for one, two, three, tap, lift, one, two, three. You're gonna do that for a minute 15. Then on the same elbow, dumbbell will be in this hand, up above. You're gonna rotate from the side of the shoes all the way to the toes. You're gonna curl it underneath, thread the needle, back to the side of the shoes, hand comes back up. All the way under, all the way back, minute 15. Then you're gonna repeat the same on the opposite elbow. So make sure you do the same exact thing on the left side. Then scissor bicycles. For this, the legs will stay straight. You're gonna go on the back. You're gonna tap the floor lightly with the bottom shoe. Leg that's up, you're gonna drive the elbow across too. So you can do those for a minute 15. The last one, so this is the one where usually in class we do kind of a competition, last person standing is the winner. So do the best you can to get beyond minute 15 and go as long as you can. So if you stop moving or if your knees hit the ground, then you're out. So for this one, I like to put something underneath me just so I have to go up and over it. So usually it's a slam ball. So you're gonna tap, you're gonna lift, and you're gonna tap. Lift and tap. So you're just gonna go side to side for as long as you can, minute 15. So once you finish those, you're good to go. This should be a good ab workout uh, to finish the day off with. And uh, hopefully this workout gets you to, to get moving and, and burn some calories after that big meal yesterday. So have an awesome workout. We'll see you tomorrow for our next workout. It'll be a little bit, a uh, little bit cardio heavy. Uh, we'll do some some strength stuff mixed in too. So uh, it should be a good one. But happy Thanksgiving again, everyone. Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.